The Shabbos and Mitzvah Shem are going to finish Sefer Vayikra, and it's, it's interesting to compare the concluding psukim of Sefer Vayikra with the concluding psukim of Sefer Bamidbar. Sefer Vayikra ends in Parshish Pichu Kosai, Eile HaMitzvos Asher Tzivu HaShem Es Moshe, El Ben Yitzvah Sinai. These are the mitzvos that Hashem taught Moshe, he commanded Moshe to teach Bnei Yisrael at Har Sinai. Whereas Sefer Bamidbar ends, Eile HaMitzvos Vamishpatim Asher Tzivu HaShem Biyad Moshe, El Ben Yisrael, Ba'arvos Moav Ayer Den Richo. So two, two differences stand out. Number one, that in Vayikra, in our parsha in Bichu Kosai, the, the parsha ends, Eile HaMitzvos, whereas in Bamidbar, the end of Parshas Mas'e, it's mitzvot and mishpatim. And number two, that in Vikra, the location is different in Vikra, the, the Sefer Gra ends at Har Sinai, whereas Sefer Bamidbar ends at, Ar- at Arvos Moab Ar- on Yarden Yerichel. The Nitziv explains that the, the, the two differences go together. At Har Sinai, HaKadosh Baruch Hu taught Moshe Binu mitzvot, just the commandments, the, the, the basic under, uh, understanding of what we should do and what we should not do. And that is what he taught Moshe Rabbeinu to tell, to tell B'nai Yisrael. He also to- taught Moshe Rabbeinu something else. But the second thing he taught Moshe Rabbeinu was not explicitly commanded to teach B'nai Yisrael yet. The second thing he taught Moshe Rabbeinu was Mishpatim. The Nitziv explains, based on the Gemara, that Mishpatim in this context does not mean laws or statutes, but rather it means the interpretation. The koach, uh, the given to Moshe Rabbeinu to interpret the Torah, to apply the Yud Gimomidos, to derive new halachos, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave that koach to Moshe Rabbeinu, but he did not yet tell Moshe Rabbeinu to share with B'nai Yisrael. It was only at Avros Moav, it was only on the brink of Knis El Aretz, that Moshe Rabbeinu began to explain the Torah in great detail. He began, he began to expound on the Torah and teach us not only the mitzvot, but also the mishpatim. And that is the difference between the end of Bichu Kosai and the end of Masai. That is how the Nitzv explains at the end of both Bichu Kosai and Masai in Ha'emek Davar. There's another pasuk that needs to be included in, in this comparison, which is, in, in our parsha in Bichu Kosai, there is a seeming redundancy. Because we just read before, in the last pasuk in the parsha, the very, very end of Sefer Ekra, there is an almost exact replica of that pasuk, just uh, one parak earlier. Uh, Sefer Ekra ends with parak of Zayin. At the end of parak of Vav, which is the end of the third aliyah, the end of the Tokacha, the pasuk reads as follows. Eila hachukim v'amishpatim v'atoros these are the chukim, the mishpatim, and the toros that Hashem gave between Himself and between Bnei Yisrael at Har Sinai in the hands of Moshe. Now this pasuk stands out for a number of reasons. Number one, it seems redundant on the one hand, because that, that is the, as we know, as we just said, that's the end of the whole Sefer, the coda of Sefer Vayikra, is to say these are all the laws all the mitzvahs Hashem taught us at Har Sinai. So why would it? Why would the sefer almost end itself preemptively uh, when it's not yet at the end? It's, it's one parak before the end. It gives a pasuk which we would have expected to be the end of the sefer. That's number one. Number two is that the the content of the pasuk is slightly different. It's not only mitzvahs here. It's like no mitzvahs at all. It's chukim, mishpatim, and toros. That's one difference. And the second difference is that. While the end of both Sefer Vayikra and Sefer Bamidbar focuses on that which Hashem gave Moshe Rabbeinu to teach Bnei Yisrael, here it's that which Hashem gave Beinove and Bnei Yisrael. Between him and Bnei Yisrael, who was the agent? Moshe Rabbeinu here is the agent, but Be'etzem, it's really directly between HaKadosh Baruch Hu and us. How do we understand this? The Nitziv explains again, and this is Hineh Mekshela, at the end of Perch on this Pasuk, Perch Havav, Pasuk Memvav, the Nitziv explains, that here again, chukim and mishpatim and toros. Rashi already told us that Torah here refers to the toros, plural, refers to Torah Shabbat and Torah Shabbat Peh. And then Itziv adds, as he said, as we uh, quoted before, that the word mishpatim here again does not mean statutes or laws, but it means the interpretive powers. So Itziv says this pasuk is referring to that Kashbarhu Baruch gave us not only laws, not only chukim, not only laws, but also Torah Shabbat Peh and the, the koach to interpret Torah Shabbat Peh to derive, to expound from the Torah more, more and more of an understanding of what a Baruch Hu wants from us. He gave that all to us at Har Sinai. Now, we just said before that at Har Sinai, he only gave it to Moshe Rabbeinu. He didn't give it to all of Yisrael yet. So why is it being mentioned here at the end of the Tokacha? Says the Nitziv, 
The Tochacha is a record of the bris between a Baruch Hu and Klai Yisrael. The eternal relationship of a Baruch Hu and Klai Yisrael is recorded in all its details in Parshas B'chul Kosai. Both the positive, the Tov, and the Tochacha, the Mutav. The, the, that which, if when we are on our best behavior, and then and when we are not on our best behavior. Kadosh Baruch Hu tells us, says in its at the very, very end of the Tochacha, after all of the terrible things that will befall us, if we don't keep our end of the bris, Kadosh Baruch Hu tells us, you should know that even if I send you far away, even if I send you out into Galus, and there's a rupture in the relationship, you should know that I'm sending you out into Galus with Chukim, Mishpatim, and Toros. I'm going to give you, I'm giving you my Torah, and I'm not just ge- telling you what to do. I'm giving you a chilek, and I'm giving you a chilek in my Torah, a chilek that you are able to invest yourself in it and understand me from it. You will have what to be osek in. The, by learning Torah, you will keep your bris with me. No matter how far away you are sent, you'll always have a relationship with me through the Torah that you're able to learn. Kash Baruch is telling us that even though at Har Sinai, even though at Har Sinai, we hadn't yet been taught the, the we hadn't yet been taught by Moshe Rabbeinu, the, 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 the levels of interpretation of Tarsh Baal Peh, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, already at Har Sinai, when he gave us the Tochacha, he, he, he hinted to the fact that if the Tochacha would come true, and when it would come true, we would have that ability. He, we didn't yet have it at Har Sinai, it was only at Har Vosmov we got the ability, but HaKadosh Baruch Hu foreshadows that when the Tochacha comes, when we get sent to Tegalos, we will get sent with the ability to learn the Torah in a way that we can delve deeper and deeper into Ratzon Hashem, and that way keep our bris with Him no matter where we go. This also explains, I think, the lush on the Pasuk that it's not that the, the, the Pasuk at the end of Per Chavav doesn't say Hashem gave the Chukim, the Mishpatim, the Toros to Moshe to teach us. He says He gave us the Chukim, Mishpatim, and Toros. Hashem this is not about Moshe Rabbeinu and what Moshe Rabbeinu will teach B'nai Yisrael. This is about the direct connection, the bris, between Hashem, Beino, Uvein B'nai Yisrael. And that is why the Chuk and Mishpat and Toros are, are described as being directly between He and us. It's a comfort for us to know that no matter where we go, HaKadosh Baruch has given us not only a Torah Shavich not only mitzvot to do, but the Perush of Torah Shavich Sa'av, the, the, the Torah Shavich Peh. And it's not only a Torah Shavich Peh that explains to us what, how to understand the Torah Shavich but it's a koch given to us to autonomously interpret to autonomously interpret the Torah Shavich to derive for ourselves, to understand for ourselves more and more about Ratzon Hashem, and through that, to internally keep our bris with Him. Have a wonderful Shabbos.